Tearful moments in court for the mother of Kamaya Mobley as her daughter's admitted kidnapper faces up to 27 years in prison. I am your mother, Kamaya. Even after two decades, the pain is still fresh from that crime back in 1998. Please, please bury my baby. I know you. <laughs> Footage from the News 4 Jack's vault shows the baby girl's biological mother making a public plea for the return of her newborn. Today, her grown-up daughter, who now goes by the name of Alexis Manigo, sat in the back of the courtroom and showed no sign she is taking sides. And this is video of Manigo leaving court about an hour ago. We've learned she will not be taking the stand. The 20-year-old has defended Gloria Williams in the past, even pleading for leniency. Williams had been raising Manigo as her own daughter in South Carolina until she was arrested in January of last year. For nearly nine hours today, the court heard from family and friends who described how this kidnapping and long-running mystery has caused them excruciating emotional hardship. News 4 Jax reporters Scott Johnson and Janice Harris have been inside the courtroom all day. We begin with Janice. You know, Alexis Manigo has been fairly quiet throughout the entire day. In fact, I asked her if she wanted to make a comment at the end of the day, and she declined. However, inside of that courtroom, when you began to hear testimony from her biological family and the family that raised her, you began to see emotion out of Alexis and many other people in the room. She would cry, as well as Gloria Williams, over and over again. Gloria Williams stole Shania Mobley's first child in 1998 when Williams pretended to be a nurse. Mobley's pain rang out in court today. That person was John. First he <laughs> She was the, the supposedly be nurse. And she was in there having me this. Oh my God. Pain that brought Williams to tears. Williams' secret has hurt many people. Williams named the baby Alexis and lied to this man, telling him he was the father and giving her his last name, Manigo. Unbelievable pain. Unbelievable pain at all. You know, I mean, days, days I haven't slept. Haven't slept last time on the way down here. Don't even know what to say. Just a betrayal and a hurt. Gloria Williams' mother, Gloria Brown, said she didn't know her daughter was living a lie, but she wants Williams out of jail. A mention of her failing health brings Williams to tears. Mm -hmm. A pastor at the local church in South Carolina defends Williams too. Is a loving, caring, God-fearing woman. Kamaya's biological father wants Williams to stay in prison for the maximum sentence. But you've got to pay for what you did. Williams' father agrees. She must pay the price for kidnapping Kamaya Mobley. It was hard to understand why she did it. As far as my life changing, I, I didn't change me that. As he said, you, you do the crime, you got to do the time. A judge will now decide that time. And the hearing begins tomorrow around 10 a.m. We're expected to hear even more testimony tomorrow. Live at the Duval County Courthouse, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Janice. We're also hearing from a number of other people touched by the case. Everyone from police detectives to Gloria Williams' old boyfriend who paid years of child support thinking Alexis Manigo was his daughter. News 4 Jax reporter Scott Johnson joins us live from the Duval County Courthouse now. Scott. Mary, this was affecting so many people. Hundreds and hundreds of people literally had to get involved in a case which is finally now being resolved here 20 years later. Police spent well over a decade trying to find out what happened to the baby girl who was kidnapped from this Jacksonville hospital in 1998. That included one of the original detectives who says they got around 3,000 tips, but no real leads for years. So it required every single detective to abandon whatever they were doing and essentially track down each one of these leads. And when I say track down a lead, I'm talking about to the end. So it required a lot of travel, required a lot of investigations. The impact of this kidnapping also really affected the biological family. Velma Aiken is the girl's biological grandmother. She says she was in the hospital when Williams, uh, pretending to be a nurse, kidnapped the baby. When I was going in, she was on her way going out with the baby in her arms. And um, so I said, uh, where grandmama baby going? 
She said the baby had to go for a test or be back in 15 minutes. I said, well, grandmama just got here. I need to see my grandbaby. But moments later, the woman she thought was a nurse was gone with her granddaughter. And now 20 years later, she faces that woman again, but not in a hospital room, in a courtroom. And that grandmother, Janice, echoed something a lot of family members of uh, Kamaya Mobley, the Mobley side of this said, was that they've really been under suspicion for 20 years, people thinking they may have had something to do with this until Alexis Kamaya was finally found. That's true. The family has suffered a lot. They've been accused of doing something that they didn't do, and all they wanted was their child back. Guys, we're going to send it back to you in the studio. Scott Janice, take us through what's expected in court tomorrow on day two of William's sentencing hearing. Well, Janice, the big thing I took away from this is that uh, Alexis is not going to testify. That was the thing we were hoping for, but we found that out today. She is not going to talk. Instead, they're going to use interviews that were previously completed that they're going to use basically as Alexis's testimony, if you will. But Gloria Williams is expected to testify tomorrow. And we expect that to be sometime between 10 and 1030. Of course, we'll stream it live on newsforjax.com. Back to you. Will there be a sentence tomorrow? Uh, we hope. I know the judge originally said it won't be today. Right. But tomorrow, very possible. The judge has the ability to do that. But typically a judge will take at least a day or two to think through all of the testimony that they have heard and then make a decision. Yeah, Janice, I have been in many cases where the judge at the end of it, we expect a sentence and they come back saying, I need more time to think yeah. about this. I'll get back to you in two weeks. So we'll have to wait and see. Just been a riveting case. Janice and Scott, thank you so much.